Hi, I'm Mark with Crown and & Caliber, and welcome to Hidden Gems. Even if you have a passing interest in watches, you've probably heard of the JLC Reverso. It's an icon of the brand. But it's not fair to limit such a storied brand for one model. And honestly, the model line that represents the history and what is JLC is the Master Collection. And today we're going to examine that through the lens of the Master Collection Ultra Thin. So let's get into it. This is the JLC Master Collection Ultra Thin. And let's start with JLC stands for Jejeur Le Colt. That is the last time I'm going to say that. I have a very heavy American accent and I do not do French justice. So JLC. JLC has a history that goes back to the early 1800s. And it hasn't been as much of a watchmaker as a movement maker who made watches. And we're not talking about a movement maker. It is the movement maker. JLC is often referred to as the watchmaker's watchmaker. And that's because if you're somebody like Patek and you need a movement that's different, to fit in a special complication that's hard to make, you go to JLC. JLC makes for everybody. And I mean everybody. Think of a watch brand from Switzerland. They've probably had a JLC movement. They probably still use a JLC movement. In fact, Patek for 30 years only had JLC when they first started making wristwatches. Cartier started out only with JLC. JLC has made over 1,250 unique movements. Blows everyone else out of the water. You could almost add up all the heavy hitters to equal just what JLC has done. Because those guys usually go to JLC for something. In the long history, the things that they have done, they created for the time that was the world's thinnest watch. Then they move on to creating the world's smallest movement, the Caliber 101 in the 1920s. Not with computers, not with machines today making it, but by hand they made it, and it's still the smallest movement ever made. Of those 1,250, over 200 are chiming movements. They've made more minute repeaters than most brands have made movements. These guys know what they're doing. That's why they refer to as the watchmaker's watchmaker, because even the big guys, when they need help, they go to the JLC. And it's not just that. It's the dial they make, it's the hands they make, it's the case they make. They do the whole thing in-house, and they have since the beginning. And in that, they haven't gotten as much attention for the watches they have made. And what best represents that modern interpretation of what they do, I think it's the master collection. It's, in general, a very classic dress watch collection, but why they call it the Master Collection is because of the test it goes through. Most cost certified movements go through about two weeks worth of testing. These go through a thousand hours. It's a thousand hours and not just the movement, but a cased up movement. It means that when you buy the watch, that exact movement in that exact case went through a thousand hours of testing. It's through movement testing, it's barometric pressure, shock, humidity, even low levels of magnetism is tested to. Even at one point during the test, they'll take the movement, they'll put it on a slab, take a hammer and just swing and hit it. That's ridiculous. They'll kick the movement just to make sure everything will work. That's an extra step that people don't do. And they do it to show, we're not just gonna make it pretty, we're gonna make it engineered well. We're gonna make it so engineered that we're confident you can drop this thing, it's good. You can walk out in the most humid weather, it's good. Where day in, day out, the movement will work. And we've tested it to make sure it will. And then when you really get into the watch and you look at what they do with the dial and the hands and the different polished versus beveled sides of the hands and how it reflects, these are beautiful watches. They really should be talked about with the big three, with Vacheron, AP, and Patek. They should be talked about with the heavy hitters of the Swiss watch industry, not just today, but in the history of what they've done. This JLC punches way above its weight. To get a comparable watch from Patek Philippe, Vacheron Constantin, or Audemars Piguet is going to cost you two, three, or four times as much. It's incredible what they put this thing through and nobody else takes that level of time and that level of energy to make sure this watch is going to work through real life conditions. And that's why to me, the JLC Master Collection Ultra Thin, or to be honest, anything from the Master Collection, is a hidden gem.
Thank you for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed learning about the JLC Master Collection. See you next time on Hidden Gems. Thank you.